Good morning, world. It's your boy Soap Guys TV with your daily crypto news. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Is the FOMC going to pause at the next federal meeting or will we get another 0.25? I'd love to know you guys' opinions in the comment because we got some news today. We got some news about the potential um, CPI, you know, how those numbers could actually be bullish you feel me and hopefully hopefully family we get something like a pause at the next um federal meeting but we do also have the shanghai update so a lot of people are talking about the shanghai update but what i want to talk about is how this shanghai update has been bullish for projects that let you participate family in liquid staking now this was a beautiful feed here from zero eco let me follow him set the example and he was just talking about um whether the east the the, the shanghai update which is the um um, the unlocking of Ethereum that stake, whether it was bullish or bearish for the entire cryptocurrency space. And from what I'm picking up is that most people who, you know, it's just two things that's going to happen, right? People are either going to unstake the Ethereum and sell it, right? Or and, and sell at the bottom, which would be absolutely crazy because the potential of Ethereum is out of this world. I mean, some people are talking about Ethereum hitting anywhere from $10,000 to $50,000. So again, or it's going to be people that um unstake and decide to hold or people just going to keep this thing stake and continue to uh, reap those rewards but this narrative has been bullish family um for a lot of projects it's been bullish for a lot of projects that again let you uh, participate in the um liquid staking so the lsd narrative i think we talked about it before liquid staking their derivatives we talked about dsla but again it's just funny to see my boy actually name drop pendo here if i can if i can actually find it he name dropped uh pendo as one of those projects as you can see um that's been actually going crazy and we talked about how pendo allows you to uh, reap the rewards up front um of your api um or apy should i say excuse me not apy apy up front instead of having to wait for those rewards over time and uh we're actually starting to see that uh pendo go uh, crazy upon the um release of the, the the state ethereum which is crazy because we know pendo is one of those d5 um tools that a lot of people seem to be drawn to so this project could be huge in the next crypto cycle it just passed over a hundred million dollar market cap family which is crazy because i remember when pendo was a 10 million dollar market cap so you know just to see this amazing run before my eyes you know, uh, through it within the last six months, it really, really is a testament, you know, because I remember when I first found this project, I could finally say like, dang, you know, I found a project that went on a 10 X and this is, this is crazy, man. $109 million market cap. Um, we got into this project around a $10 million market cap. So I love to see this, um, continue to do well. And it's doing this, like I said, in the cusp of maybe the beginning of a, uh, crypto bull cycle. So, I mean, man. Are we talking about uh, finding something like the, the the this could be the next polygon of the next bull cycle that we found early? I can't wait to see the end game for Pendo and where it eventually may go. And as you can see, Lido Dow, which is the main um, where you can actually uh, stake eat, uh, stake Lido and get then get a uh, uh, staked ETH. Um, so again, Lido Dow has a two billion dollar market cap, and Pendo only has a 100 million so just imagine 10 million dollar market cap to something like two billion dollars would be frankly uh, amazing and to even you know make it you know what even points out to you know stands out to me even more is that pendo literally has less it literally has less tokens than Lido. Lido has a billion tokens and was able to hit the heights of two three dollars um pendo here only has 251 million token so this thing you know can can push north of five or ten dollars family which is absolutely crazy for a project that started at five cents so keep that keep we would we'll definitely keep that on the watch list keep that on the watch list and um we'll have to see how the um shanghai update in the staking the release of this these the stake eth we got to see how it affects ethereum and how it affects the entire crypto market hopefully we can see ethereum north of 2000 2100 before we actually see any type of correction or pullback because that would be extremely bullish family for our altcoins um meme coins you know a lot of those micro caps will start to literally go up because of the bullish momentum that we're here we're getting here from eth um ethereum so 
Y'all let me know what y'all think about Pando Man. Are you bearish? Are you bullish? Uh, we, we we got a little um we got a little bit of capitulation here from the DXY, which is again positive. It wants to creep back up, but I mean it just broke this support. It just smacked against this support. It broke right through it, family. And if we can get the DXY um south of a hundred, again we could see a lot of momentum push into the crypto space and even. <clears throat> Even the traditional space, we just have to keep an eye on the traditional space because I know, um, because of the the potential recession and um, a lot of people think like we're gearing up for a recession. We are see, starting to see a little, just a little bit pullback from the S and P and Dow, but it's not affecting crypto, and it's not affecting Bitcoin, and it's not affecting altcoins because we're seeing a decoupling family from cryptocurrency in the traditional market. Why is that happening? Because a lot of these countries. They're moving away from the DXY, okay? A lot of these countries, <clears throat> they're moving away um, from the U.S. dollar, okay? They're moving away from the U.S. dollar. Uh, well, you know, I'm not sure if they're buying crypto or if they're using other countries' um, currencies and stuff like that. But I know for sure that they're moving away from the U.S. dollar. And a lot of people also are moving away from from traditional banks and a lot of that liquidity is going into bitcoin because you know at the end of the day these wealthy people that's the cryptocurrency that they trust they they trust bitcoin and once you get into bitcoin and you kind of get into cryptocurrency in a way they're right it becomes addictive and you start want to play around with altcoins so soon we'll start to see a lot of that liquidity that's going into the bitcoin market start to trickle into altcoins i want to be a little bit cautious because i know that the fair and greed index is somewhere around 62 so when well, you know the fair and greed index kind of keeps you you know well grounded when it comes to the mentality not to get overly excited about what's going on because we are in greed so you know people can start to sell off people can start to take profits a lot of our favorite cryptocurrency projects can start to feel selling pressure when you see the fan greed index um, in greed so keep that in mind family remember always to do your research and always to be responsible with your investing but this is not financial advice um, we'll just have to see how you know how bitcoin continues to react it is sitting at 28.4 looks like it wants to go through a little bit of pullback but bitcoin's been strong man bitcoin's been strong uh, what, what's funny is i finally found that um that hadera meme coin grelf here so uh, i'll have to do some research on this uh, meme coin uh, meme coin launched on hadera ecosystem man this is crazy you know especially with the um the federal government actually name dropping and acknowledging Hedera in one of their their articles. Um, so we, we'll just have to keep it. Uh, um, we'll just have to keep all that in mind, family. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the Bitcoin, the DXY, Tether, Diamonds, Ethereum, things like that. Um, y'all, let me know what y'all think about the entire cryptocurrency market. Um, are you bearish? Bearish? Are you bullish? Do you think that we get another pullback? Do you think that 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 fifteen k was the low? Do you think that we go back and test the lows, or is it up from? here i'd love to know y'all guys opinions ladies opinions also and make sure that you hit that notification bell it's your boy so guys tv millie i'm out